Okay, good morning, everyone. My name is Emily Hinckley. <laughs> um, I'm a junior at Caledonia Mumford High School. It's very small, there's like 10 people there, so don't worry if you don't know it, nobody does. <laughs> um, so I've been at Calvary for four years now, and uh, I'm just gonna tell you my testimony because that's how I became anchored in Christ. Um, okay, so I struggle attending chorus concerts at school. I actually don't ever go, so this is big. <laughs> this is very big. Um, all right, anchored. To me, anchored means being rooted to something or being held to something. It's when you anchor a boat and it stays there. Growing up in a house with two parents and seven siblings, life was hectic, and as I look back now, I can see I was never anchored to anything. My home environment was not healthy. Um, I saw things, I experienced things, and I was exposed to things that no child should have to experience. When I was 11 years old, my parents split up, they got a divorce, and um, a kid going through divorce at a young age is not easy, and not being angered to anything made it really difficult. My attitude changed, um, my grades dropped, I didn't care about anyone else uh, besides myself and what I was going through. Um, so I lost a lot of friends. I was very pessimistic, and nobody wants to be around a pessimistic person. Um, so, yeah, so I made the decision. Um, hang on, I lost my spot. <laughs> um, okay, during the divorce, I saw sides of my parents that I didn't know existed. Um, and as a result, my dad, he did a lot of things to hurt me and disappoint me, and so I didn't talk to him for four years. And that was really difficult, holding on to a lot of anger and um, hurt. And so I was at the fall retreat, uh, and, okay, hang on, I lost my spot again. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, as the divorce was being finalized, my parents, um, my mom's sister, encouraged our family to go to church, and we had previously visited Calvary for larger events, such as Easter Sunday. So when my aunt mentioned church, we found ourselves at Calvary. Um, so... Yeah, okay, so throughout all this, I turned to boys and society to tell me my worth and the value that I had. Um, I found a female mentor from church, and she encouraged me to delete all social media accounts. And that was not an easy day, let me tell you. <laughs> um, when I deleted all social media, I no longer had anyone or anything to tell me what my value was and what they liked or didn't like about me. This female mentor helped me turn to the Bible and a verse that really impacted me and changed my viewpoint was Proverbs 31.25. She has clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. This verse really showed me the kind of woman I wanted to be, and um, I wanted to walk every day knowing that my strength and dignity would come from him and not social media. Because coming from him, that's real. That's something that you can hold on to, and someone's opinion is not always truthful. And so it made it difficult. A year after the divorce, um, the court mandated that I could no longer see a family member and that hurt really bad, knowing that you can't see um, a sibling for a long time. It seemed as though every time I turned around, something bad would happen. Um, I kind of just went whatever way the wind blew. The youth pastor, Jonathan Sigmund at the time, chased my mother down and convinced her to make me, Justin, and Christopher go to the fall youth retreat. And um, I was not a huge fan of that, Jonathan. <laughs> I was not ready for this. <laughs> Um, it was my first time being away from mom, and it was hard, it was difficult, but um, uh, yeah, so we went, and of course my mom thought this was a brilliant idea, so let me just walk you through this. Day one, I was nervous, and I knew no one. I stuck with Justin and Christopher, and um, we all kind of hung out together, but of course they made friends way faster than I did, so I was just left by myself, but it's okay, no big deal. <laughs> Um, so Amanda Gilbert, we had a bonfire that night and she kind of took me under her wing and she introduced me to so many new people. And as I was at that bonfire, we were just talking and having these wholesome conversations about God and what we wanted him to do in our life. And I created so many solid relationships. And um, as I said, in school, I didn't have that. I didn't have very many friends. Um, and so school or church became my social life. So day two at night was one of the services. And we were really deep into worship, and Mr. Lewis was giving a message, and he was talking about forgiveness, and it was that night that I decided to forgive my dad. Although I still didn't communicate with him, I decided to let myself free of the hurt and what I was feeling. This is when I realized I wanted to follow Christ for the rest of my life. 
who I wanted to serve, who I wanted to put my trust in. I lifted my worries and sorrows to him, and I sought out Molly Infantino, who I'd already connected with, and I prayed with her. And I just, I felt this burden lifted, and um, it was just the most freeing feeling I have ever experienced in my entire life. Um, after that, I started to look forward to Sundays and Wednesdays when I could listen to sermons and see my friends. Um, so, okay, as I grew closer with Calvary, I formed amazing relationships and um, was helped by so many people, such as Molly Infantino, Jelly, Bethany, Holly Hilke, Jennifer Iacucci, and the list just goes on. In September 2014, I got baptized. Um, hang on. Okay, okay. I got baptized alongside my mom and my three brothers, Justin, Christopher, and Nathan. Um, my life after getting baptized hasn't been perfect, but I have, the, I have seen God blessing me. I'm now able to see my sibling and his one-year-old son and his fiance also one of my best friends. My grades in social life and school have improved significantly. I now realize I'm a child of God, and that's where my identity is found. Amen. I realize that I am 16, and I will, only, I will continue to face many struggles in life alongside many blessings. But I now have the strength and faith in Christ and understand that no matter what is occurring around me, I will be anchored in Christ. <laughs> um, I want to encourage anyone here that no matter what you're going through, maybe it's a bad relationship or a bad marriage or it's your past holding on to you or maybe it's an addiction, anchor to Christ because he is the only one who can help you. And as he says in John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Christ saved me, and he can save you, too. Amen. <laughs> it's sweaty. <laughs>